basically do when I shoot with the GH5, at the moment this is on the GH5S because I need to show you something in a minute. Okay, I shoot like this. It gives me more stability. So this is the move cam cage, which is a magnesium alloy cage, very lightweight. Um, and then the handle. Now the handle can fit on the top for low down shots, so you can hold it at the top here. But I like it on the side. This gives me more stability when I'm moving the camera around, especially for run and gun situations. Not very good for the GH5S um, because basically it has no in-body stabilizer and my, uh, my hands are not that steady. But this works really well um, and I like this system. So what I've actually done, I purchased some items from Real Right Stuff, um, which I've been meaning to get for a while. So the first off is this little thing. So I'm gonna, I've got another camera over there. This is being shot on the G9 and the B camera is the GX9. So I have no idea how good this is gonna look. Well, we'll see at the end. So this here is the Real Right Stuff screwdriver or maintenance tool. This, um, this is made in the US, really well made. And then you take the handle off and hidden inside are loads of attachments. And it also comes with even more attachments, basically. There's like an insane amount of screwdriver, hex heads, everything. I think there's basically every tool you could ever need. So that fits in there and that screws in. So that's basically, that's what I use to maintain all my tripods and everything else. So there's that part. And I'll move that out of the way for the moment. And here is a small tripod. Now this, I think this is one of the smallest tripods. This is all aluminium construction. It's got rubber feet. The bore head would screw on like that and then you have your small tripod. But the screwdriver, or the maintenance tool, does something a little bit special. So you take that end, you screw it on to the tripod, like that. And then you can screw the tripod head, head on like that. So it actually gives you an extension piece. Um, I guess it's kind of cool. I guess it can work in certain situations. Um, the feet do click out even more. It's like that, so it gives you more stability. Um, the quality is unbelievable and they last a lifetime. So we'll take that off for the moment. In the description, I will put a link to all these items that I've got here. Um, so you can check them out for yourself. Um, I got all of this from BH Photo, yes, in New York. Um, it was FedEx over to me, unbelievable service. Um, again, I can't buy this, these products in New Zealand. Nobody actually stocks really right stuff. So it's one of those things that I have to shop overseas sometimes. I don't like to, but it's um, just one of those things if you can't get the products in New Zealand. We are a long way from everybody. Okay, so box, that's what I'm gonna call this. Now, in here is an outplate. Now, an outplate is designed basically for photography, or well, this is for video as well, because this has this notch here for the screen and this extends out. Um, I've always used outplates on all of my Nikons. Um, uh, they're just incredibly well made and it's, it holds the camera really tight. You don't get any movement. So this goes on, if I can show you on the B camera, if it will focus, I'm not sure if it does. Um, it has an Allen key that magnetically locks in. So it's always got the Allen key there because that's one of the hardest things. I'm always trying to find the Allen key. Okay, so this goes on the bottom of the camera there. And this will always stay on the GH5, basically. Yeah, most of the time. Okay, so that's locked in. And then if you see there, then the Allen key locks away. That's a very neat design. Now we'll take the Allen key back out again because there's something very unusual with this owl plate. Most owl plates are fixed, but this one has a sliding arm. Now I'm guessing 
The reason this slides out like this is because the Panasonic's one of the very few cameras that actually uses a full-size HDMI and they don't bend very well. So this allows you to get the cable inside. Now, there is a notch. I don't know if you can see that. There is a uh, 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 notch there. Look, my finger goes through. Okay, there's a notch. Okay, that notch is designed for when you open the screen up, you can have the screen like that. Okay, but there's another benefit to this. Now again, like I was saying, with the move cam, I hold the camera like this. This is how I find it stable. And I can move around and basically I just swing it around like that. I'm like, I know I shouldn't do, but I do. Now, this does exactly the same, but in a much smaller package and it folds away. So I will get more stable shots this way than holding it like this. I, I don't like holding the camera like this. It's not stable. Um, but for a quick situation, I can pop the Allen key out, I can slide the arm out, and then I've got this, which will give me a much more stable shot. So as you can see, I've got something to grip onto. Um, and like I said, it's just something that's there. It just attaches really well. The plate won't move. It's all molded actually. It's molded to the body at the bottom. The way they cut this is from bullet aluminum or aluminum, depends on where you're from. Um, and if you watch their videos on how they actually make these parts, it's, it's incredible. It's all one piece and it's machined from a block of bullet aluminium. So yeah, so basically that's why I've got the system. I've got now a side handle, which with an onboard Allen key, it's put away and I'm back to where I was. So it doesn't add that much weight. It makes it a lot more stable and to be truthful, if I was to drop it, it would probably protect the camera quite well. But yeah, I mean, that was why I wanted to test the system. Um, the outplate for a video camera, I'm not 100% sure I would need it all the time. For a still camera, definitely, I use them all the time. So you lock it out, like that. And there you go, I've got a handle, which means I can hold the camera more, more stable, moving in and out. And the screen I can see fine. So that is the really right stuff, our plate. Now how that also works, um, Allen key, here a moment. So, okay, so we'll put the tripod together. Okay, now your valve plate will sit like that. And the quality of the stuff, it's solid, it's not gonna move. For that little tiny tripod, there's, there's no movement in it at all. So then the good thing of an owl plate is you can actually shoot portrait and the lens basically will stay exactly where it is. The center of the lens doesn't move. So you're not dropping it down the ball head or so on. But like I said, it works incredibly well, like that, as you can see. And that arm will come out and it gives me the extra handle. So this was just a quick look at the really right stuff. Owl plate and tripod, ball head, and maintenance tool, I guess you can call that. But thank you for watching the video, and please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down if you like the video. Hey, each to their own. If you have a question about the really right stuff, bracket, and, um, if you want to know the weight, ask me a question. I don't mind. I will weigh it. I will let you know. Um, and thank you for watching. And I'll see you again soon.